I'm also flipping it 90 degrees at a time because what I'm tapering or working bar stock at, keeping it square as I go. And rounding it back again is the last thing I do. Some people try doing it by like that. It takes more time and you're not really going to accomplish it the way you want it to be. Yeah. And these bracelets are 
adjustable with the aluminum. You can put it on, you can stretch it out, and you just put it back on. You just gotta be careful. And also, if you wanna wash this aluminum too, sometimes you might get res residue to just wash it off, wash your hands off. I uh, had this one lady who bought a bracelet with me and for me and before she did as a registered nurse, she just checked out whether it was going to be caustic or not, but she, she was right, so she found that it was all right. But I tell people this, I just rather be up to the you know, it's just like taking small print that people try to pull out and really magnify it. People don't. But some people are allergic to silver or other materials too. It's, you know, metals and jewelry can be kind of Some people are allergic to gold. What I'm doing is I'm like inching it along because if I bend it here and then I bend it here, it's going to come out all lopsided. It is. Rapid prototyping is going to be available to any judge loan. Oh, yeah, totally. If you want something that will be cast by a big company, that's a great idea for the machine part or whatever. It's going to cost a lot at first. It's, and then it's, it's coaxing it both using the uh, needle nose pliers, also known as scrolling tongs. You could buy scrolling tongs for this, but you would pay a lot. But you could just buy an El Cheapo $6 pair of needle nose or even $2 and then just grind them around yourself. So if you have welding and grinding apparatus, you're hooked up to modify tools for blacksmithing. Okay. You could also it build is. a forge too. Oh, I am very sorry. All these forges that I have, I built, and if you look on the other end, you see a forge with a hand crank blower there. And for somebody starting out, I would suggest going to that design. And you could get metal really hot in that, and you can do fire welding. Well, that's well. The way the welding was well, the way the welding was done is they just heated up the material and you apply a borax with a flux and then get it really hot and you whack it together. When I was, I remember as a kid, I remember as a teenager, I was in a museum and then seeing. You know, like fishing gigs that look like the pieces are welded together from the colonial times, and I asked my grandfather.